So, welcome back everybody. Today we're just at a, a new player's station, which is pretty awesome. His name's Faran. I think it was, or Faran? Was it Faran? Faran. Faran, yeah. And uh, he's got his salvage ship, and he's been crafting away his base here. But what I wanted to do was uh, just go and explore this little planet that he's moored from. It looks like he's starting to build on it, and I fancy giving it an explorer. Oh wow, look at that green atmosphere shader. Alright. I'm gonna get my lander. So, first thing of course is I'm in my new trading ship. This one's called the uh, Tomato Smuggler. It has six cassette style loading cargo pods. Okay, so first thing I wanted to show you uh, was the bridge. Obviously we've got the bridge here. It's kind of funky looking, got a V shape for the uh, for the net there. And at the moment the cassettes are in. So if I hit this button on the bridge. Oi. There it is. And we will see the cassettes unload to that position where they're ready to be filled. And then this button here. <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't work when <laughs> you need to bring the containers in first. Derp. Ah, containers slide in, and then the arms slide down. This is quite a small ship. It has, like I said, two jump drives. Um, there's also a mechanism for loading a scout, and at the back we have a shuttle bay which I haven't used yet for a slightly larger vessel to sit in. Um, all of the docks are covered so you can visually see. I haven't put any doors in yet. Number of rooms. One designed as an airlock for each of these containers that could be filled with any item in the game. So I wanted to check out that planet, so let's do that, shall we? I also found that green and purple give a really nice white <laughs> if you put them right next to each other. Especially if you actually look at the sun as well, it's actually turned the sun like a greeny colour. Yeah, okay, I, I'm not on the planet yet, hang on. Uh. So for this one, we got, I haven't fully finished this yet, but we've got a door that opens. And then it pushes the, sh the, the shuttle outside. Trouble is, it doesn't push it far enough outside. And as I've been finding, it doesn't really want to come off. Get out of the ship. There we go. I'm out. Right, so now let's find that planet. I'm going to try and find, try and land on the light side. If I can. Oh god, there you are. There's you. I'm out. There we go. Hopefully my bike. Oh no, my bike fell over. Oh well. Maybe it's like a kickstand, basically. I guess. It's those damn Y holes. Right. Look at all those Y holes. They're fresh. Base. Power. He's got some a couple wedges. Like a chair to sit in, I don't know. Start of a flagpole. My god. He goes, he's made like a little mine. Some enhancers hidden away. I. Where's his factory at? Oh, there it is. Hello. Leo. Ship. Is that sun coming up or going down? Or is it neither? It's going sideways. Yep. <laughs> nice. Well, take a look around the planet, I guess. I love exploring I did these purple worlds. 
did spot a giant hole in one of them. One of the pipes, though. Okay. Uh, I think uh, Farron had mined it. Green atmosphere is quite cool. Oh my god, there's a hole in this next plate. Natural crater by the looks of it. Mm -hmm. Pretty dark over here though. to play oh oh what's that I can see lasers firing in the distance got somebody firing yeah that's firing by looks of it salvaging really dark isn't it like I know that we're in the shadow of the sun right now but Just really can't see. Keep going around the planet until I find the light again. <laughs> Aha! I found the sun. That's this planet. Cool planet though. This one's got a massive this plate's got a massive mountain on it. it does, yeah. Cut with the mothership. Get out of here. Where should we go now? Hmm. Could go and have a look and see what Electric Blast is doing. I always like to see what he's up to. Electric Blast. And then I should probably go to my... No one in Nav. I love that. Oh well. In that case, back to the home sector. So change sector five, seven, eight. Yay! Welcome to the lag. Smuggling tomatoes, oh my god, it's an early version of this thing. 13 hours, it's 3 hours, I don't know why I, I must have mistyped it. Right. So there we go, look at that. I got the early version and the uh, finished, well, nearly finished version, I guess. But like last night. There's the workings. So you've basically got a T flip flop, uh, sorry, a flip flop, which is 
making them either open or close. Uh, sorry, sorry, yeah, which is making these rotate 135 degrees one way and then the other. Because what will happen is when the button gets pushed, it will change the rotators much like you change the direction of rails. So these buttons are hooked up to this rail rotator. And uh, if you also press C on here and V on three activation blocks, activate them all, it'll give you the 135 degrees. Um, as for the rail bits, that's just a couple rails that are under here. You can't see the damn things. Fuck. Trust me, they're right here. Um, so that's sort of like showing you a bit more exposed what's going on. Flip hits these, hits these two, and the knot hits these two. So rotate one way or the other, and then what you get is this. Up the sides. Allowing you to push out the containers. So, and it's ready for loading. My idea was that the ship docks and is loaded by whatever, per whatever means, and then these cassettes can be ejected, but the white docking ring is actually um, what's attached to the, the rail there. White docking ring and then the container has enough power and thrust on it to move about. I guess the docking ring's kind of unnecessary but oh yeah and like I said there's the hanger at the back. And then like I say you've seen this which is drop bay for a lander. Bridge is pretty simple. Kind of nice. I need to extend the rail on this, to be honest. It does have a nice effect. So I. Oh god. I forgot to. Come back. I uh, shut the door on it. <laughs> Another thing about this ship is it's actually really small. It's very narrow, very short, um, and it's you know so it handles very well, it accelerates very well. Um, the all of these little inspection rooms sit above a massive area which has not been filled. I'm planning on putting the shielding underneath here. I was thinking about putting overdrive on it as well so it could outrun things. But uh, two jump drives and like I say I'll logic in the ability to de-dock uh, the entire docking ring. So it's like it just blows off this docking ring complete with the container. If I just, whoops, if I just bring the containers in, now I can show you the next thing which I've got to show you today. Cambot factory. So let's. 